The titles of our three new communications journals reflect our position within the Nature Research family of journals. We launched the journals to fill a specific need for broad but selective open access journals for researchers who wish to publish in and are confident in the quality of Nature Research journals. Our journals follow Nature Research best practice, policies, workflows and guidelines. We apply the same level of editorial rigour to our processes but look for less broad interest and significance than the Nature branded journals including Nature Communications. When I first heard about the journal I thought it sounded like a very interesting opportunity. Prior to this I worked at Nature Communications as a team manager and we handled a broad scope of chemistry and material science content. So during that time I've seen an increased appetite for open access from the chemistry community. Communications Chemistry is an open access journal which means that our readers will be able to access the papers whenever they want, they'll be able to share them and they'll be able to read them in their own work as long as they're cited correctly. Uh, we'll also be publishing daily so that means that all the research that we publish should be timely and up to date. Communications Chemistry will be accepting submissions from all areas of the chemical sciences including results from adjacent fields where the central conclusions are of interest to chemists. So for example chemical biology, chemical physics, material science, energy research. Uh, we expect overall for on average papers to be published within three to four months of submission including time for authors to make revisions. Part of what this means is that manuscripts which don't quite make the bar at say Nature Communications or another one of the research journals, in those situations the editors there might recommend a transfer to communications chemistry. We consider articles of a range of lengths from very short punchy communications through to fuller uh, extended studies. We also publish reviews and commentary and hope to provide a forum for chemists to discuss issues of interest to the community. At Communications Chemistry we aim to provide outstanding author care and one of the key ways in which we achieve this is by working very closely with our referees and our authors to ensure that everything is transparent, everyone understands what's going on at every part of the publication process. We have a growing team of in-house editors and our expertise is complemented by our external editorial board members who are experts in their own particular fields who can support us. We view the role of the editor as being the archetypal interested reader. We try to understand why authors have done the research they've done, why that matters and to whom.